and an explosive yeah. mixture yeah. which consists both of a fuel to be burned and a supply of oxygen. Yeah. When these are burned, the resulting thrust caused by the intensely hot gases can be controlled and directed to push the rocket in the required direction. The power got from some of the chemicals is enormous, which is just what is required to overcome the pull of Earth's gravity, yes. which would otherwise bring the rocket back to the Earth's surface again. Yes. Although explosives were probably known to the Egyptians 3,000 years ago, the rocket itself <laughs> seems to have been invented in China in the 12th century. Yeah. There's a record of it being used in the seas of Pekin in AD 1232, and there's even a story of a Chinese Mandarin of the 15th century who harnessed 47 rockets to the Jarius, yeah. though this brought to him to an untimely end. By the 17th century, rockets were used in many countries as weapons of war. They were similar to the present-day firework, consisting of a cylindrical tube into which were pressed the chemicals to be burnt, that is the propellants. Usually this mixture was gunpowder. As the rocket propellants burned, they made mass quantities of gas, which wow. pressed outwards against the tube in all directions. Wow. This gas escaped freely through the nozzle, yes. so there was no pressure here. But the gas pressing against the opposite end pushed the whole rocket forward. Yes, this yes. can be seen in the case of a balloon. If it is blown up and the neck released, the internal pressure of air on the side opposite to the neck will make it move in that direction. This shows that the pushing is being done from inside, as long as there is an internal pressure that is for so long as the rocket burns the propellants, it will continue to go faster and faster. Wow. The flaming exhaust is not doing any pushing at all, but only escaping freely. The more easily it can escape, the faster will the rocket move. This shows that a rocket will work best in a vacuum, where there is no air either to slow down the exhaust or cause air resistance at the nose. In other words, a rocket works best in space and is the ideal vehicle for the space journeys. The basic law which moves the rocket is called the Newton's third law of motion. Yeah. It says for every motion there is an equal and an opposite, opposite reaction. reaction. Suppose yes, yes. a one ton shell is being fired by a ten ton cannon. When a firing takes place, the shell moves in one direction and the cannon in the other. Yeah. Due to its recoil, if the cannon moved back at 1 mile per hour, yes, we know yes. then that the shell was ejected at 10 miles per hour, because the mass or weight multiplied by the speed must give the same total in both cases. Yes, yes. A rocket is more like a machine gun than a cannon. Yes. Though instead of ejecting a stream of individual bullets, it ejects a continuous stream of gas. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, that's the. Tell me, 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 tell